In today's video, I'm going to give you the quick down and dirty on three free apps for the blind and visually impaired. All right, come with us, let's go discuss them. Hey everyone, this is Matt. Welcome back to another Blind to Billionaire video. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season so far. And I'm actually sitting here with Corey, but for Christmas this year, I gave her the gift of silence. So she is going to be very silent. She loves when I say this. So um, I'm just waiting for her to kick me under the table or stomp on my toes. Okay, Corey, you need to talk because okay. people can't I see I know you. people can't see me and they don't know I'm here, but I just pretended to punch Matt in the arm. <laughs> I didn't oh, know, actually. I know, it's because oh, I funny. was very quiet. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, today we're going to talk about three free apps that are really helpful for the blind and visually impaired. I'm sure a lot of you already know about these apps, but for anybody out there searching, we thought this would be a great video just to introduce you to some of these apps. You can check them out on your own and uh, hopefully they're helpful to you. So we'll run through three of them. There's a ton of apps out there. I mean, a lot of them out there, there's a ton of them, but these are kind of you know three that are really nice um, to have just I like to keep them on my phone just in in the event I need to use them. I don't use them all the time, but they're really nice to have in the event I need to pull one of these out to use them. So, yeah, I mean, just kind of a disclaimer. These are Matt's top three. You might have totally yeah. different top three. You can share them in the comments, but this is just what he's presenting. Exactly. And I've gone through a lot of different apps on my phone, but these are the three that have stood the test of time that I hold on to all the time just because they, they seem to work and they're nice to have around. So... Number one, Seeing AI. Now, what is Seeing AI? It's actually like a multi-use app. It does a lot of, it has a lot of different functionality. The nice thing about Seeing AI is, like I was just saying, it does a lot of different things. For example, it has a short text feature where literally you can hold it in front of something and it'll just quick read a text to you. It has a document feature where you can actually take a picture of a document and it'll read line, line by line um, the document to you. It's really nice. Um, you can kind of toggle between different lines on there, but just by simple flicking gestures with your finger on the screen. There's a currency reader, there's a product reader. Again, there's a, um, for the product reader, you can actually like scan a barcode of a product and it'll tell you exactly what it is. There is a facial recognition feature, so I can actually point it at Corey's face and it'll say like. Um, uh, it'll. I think it would say like a hot, 24-year-old no, girl. No, it would say like 38-year-old grandma face with curly gr gray hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it would say like, you're super lucky to be with this hot thing. Right. And I'd say, wait, that's not what you're supposed to say. It's, you're supposed to tell me what, you, what she looks like. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, it's a really cool feature. And then there's also a recently added feature, which I really love this one. It's a scene preview. So you can literally hold your phone up and point it at anything, and it'll tell you like... Um, sitting area, table and chairs, t a brown table and chairs with, um, I don't know, brown table and chairs or something. I don't know. It, it gives you a scene preview. So it tells you like uh, whatever the camera is seeing. It's a really cool feature. I use that when, when, actually, when I'm actually out training, doing the O&M training out at the mall. I was using that a lot to kind of point it at different um, store signs. And then it would say like Nordstrom's or Banana Republic or, you know, whatever store I was standing outside of. And it helped me out a lot. Well, and actually what was kind of cool about that too is like, let's say that one time you're trying to point it at Macy's and it couldn't find the Macy's sign, but it did right. in fact say like, Estee Lauder, Dior, yeah. you know, so that you knew you were in front of like makeup counters. So yeah. then you thought, well, by deduction, process of elimination, probably is Macy's. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, seeing AI, it's an awesome app. I don't know it's a. I don't know if if it is available for Android. It definitely is available for uh, iPhone. But the cool thing is, if you don't have an iPhone and you are an Android user, which is awesome. Um, there is a different app that is very comparable to seeing AI, which is called Envision AI. So that's like the Android um, app that's very similar to seeing AI. I've never personally used it, but from everybody I've talked to who is an Android user, they say it's very similar to seeing AI. So they say it's awesome. And I actually just noticed today when I was looking around in the app store, it's actually available for iPhone as well. So I might download that one and use it at some point, and just maybe do a review at some point in the future on that app as well. But you do have a video about seeing AI, correct? I do have a couple uh, discussing just very, um, like the specific channels they call it on seeing AI, like the facial recognition 
or what else did I do? I, I think I did a Doc, product review. Maybe a documentation one. Yeah. yeah. So the, I did a couple of videos like that. But so anyway. if you want to know more about how it works, check out yep. those videos. Yeah. So Seeing AI, otherwise the comparable one on Android is Envision AI. So from what I've heard, they're basically the same um, awesome app. I would definitely download that one. Just keep it on your tool belt. It's nice to have. I use that one probably the most frequently. Okay. App number two that I use every so often, which I always want to have around in the event when I'm out navigating around with my cane and I possibly get lost and I need some assistance. There's an amazing app that's totally free called Be My Eyes. And I've done a video, a couple videos on this one too. Basically, you just call and a volunteer answers the phone or answers and they look through your camera on your phone and they tell you basically whatever you want to know. So let's say you're outside and you point it you know at something and say like you know what's in front of me and they'll say oh there's a car and a street and there's a mailbox mm -hmm. so they'll tell you what's going on it's a free app and you connect with a volunteer so that's awesome there are other apps like this but they are paid apps so the focus of this video is just to talk about uh, free apps so that's a really cool one another one that's very comparable to this is uh, FaceTime I use FaceTime um, probably as much as I use be my eyes and the the situation that I would use FaceTime over Be My Eyes would be, for example, when Corey and I are at the gym, um, Corey will walk me to a specific machine, and then let's say I wanna move like, I don't know, five or 10 feet to the next machine, I'll just pull up FaceTime, I'll call Corey and be like, hey, help me get to this next machine, she'll help me, and then that's it. So it's two really cool applications, they're essentially the same thing, just a video calling service where you can connect with somebody and they can help you out, um, kinda make your way. And Be My Eyes when we do FaceTime. Yeah, Corey's be my eyes. So it's like really cool because you guys could be in the situation where you might rather call somebody who you trust completely and who's not a stranger, yeah. but who's not like right in front of you. Um, and like yeah. obviously if I'm at work, I can't necessarily take a be my eyes call from Matt. Right. But um, it's a really, since we started doing that actually, it's been really great. Yeah, it makes our it's life a, a lot easier and just gym. so much more efficient. Yeah. I mean, who knows in the future where we might use it now that you're getting more independent. I mean, we could use it like, mm -hmm. if, like when we were doing Matt's ship, he just did a video about walking around on the cruise ship. Um, you could have called me and be my eyes. I could have if I, I needed I mean, uh, not be my eyes FaceTime. Yeah, right. So. Okay, so that's app number two. Now app number three, there's actually three of these that I want to talk about. Two of them are free and one of them is paid, but they're all basically the same thing and they all have different functionality, but very, very similar. And that is Google Maps. Google Maps is amazing. If you haven't downloaded it, I would highly recommend downloading it and getting it and just playing around with it. If you're ever navigating out by yourself with your cane or anything like that, you can get walking directions, you can get very specific directions through Google Maps. And what's really cool about it too is you can actually activate um, like the directions or I'm not sure what it's actually called on there, but where it actually speaks out loud. Um, there's a voice that says like in 200 feet, turn left. Um, you know, something like that. So it's really nice. Now, other comparable apps to this are Ways Around. That's another uh, free app, very similar to Google Maps. I actually think Google Maps is superior to Ways Around. Um, and then another one that's actually paid, I've never used this app, but from a lot of people I've talked to here on the channel, they swear by this app and they absolutely love it. It's called Blind Square. However, it's not free. It is, I actually just looked it up on the, on the App Store because I wanted to see how much it is because the price does fluctuate from time to time. Um, but currently, as of the recording, um, this recording, it's $39.99. So it's not free, but it's also not like e exceedingly expensive, but you know, it's still 40 bucks. Um, but you can definitely get basically the same service through Google Maps. But like I just said, there are a lot of people here on this channel who swear by Blind Square. They love the app. And I haven't downloaded it yet, but I will and probably give you some type of more like thorough review and demonstration at some point in the future. So, comments? Well, you're starting your training this week to do like Google Map like, out, like outdoor orientation training. Yeah. And so you'll actually learn more about this. Like we'll do another video probably, mm -hmm. kind of more like uh, demonstration of how Google Maps works for a blind person. Sure. What you yeah, say. I can do another video at some point demonstrating exactly how to get into Google Maps, uh, how to type in an address, and then go through the process of actually getting walking directions. It's very nice. I like yeah. Google Maps a lot. Yeah. It's a little bit clunky here and there with certain aspects of the app, but overall, it's 
it's pretty dang nice. It's a nice app just to have on your phone. Like I said earlier, in the event you're out navigating around, maybe you get a little bit turned around. Um, you can just activate maybe like Siri on your phone and say, hey, where am I? Um, actually, okay. <laughs> I was thinking I just said her name and I actually have that activated. So I was hoping she wouldn't just start talking. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's just a nice feature. You can ask her where you are. She'll give very specific direct, um, like, uh, Directions. Direct, no, not directions, but she'll give you like a very specific address where you are. And then you can just get that on Google Maps and basically figure out where you are and where you need to go. Mm -hmm. So it's just nice to have these apps on your phone at all times in the event you're kind of in a situation where you need help right away. And the thing is, even sighted people love Google Maps. I mean, yeah, it's, it's sighted people great. use Google Maps use Google all Maps. the time. We use it all the time, especially if we're traveling or in a different place. Yep. And we like want to know what's around us. Yep. So exactly. it's really nice. So those are the three apps that I would highly recommend everybody has that's blind or visually impaired just because, like I've been saying this whole video, they're just really nice to have. You may only use them once a month or once every few months, but you know what? In the time that you need one of these services, it's really nice to have it at that time. So it's just something that I would always keep on my phone, definitely something I always do and I use. I would say I use seeing AI most frequently. I probably use it, I don't know, maybe once a week I pull it out and use it. And it's just really nice to have when I do have it, when I do need it. But anyway, we have been incredibly, um, what's the word? Not on the ball. Sure. Not on the ball, tardy, um, late to doing a, a, um, a giveaway. So we promised you giveaways every 100 friends, subscribers here on the channel. So we rolled over to 2,800 uh, like a week and a half ago. Yeah. And we still haven't done the giveaway for it. We're actually we're actually really close to 2,900. So we'll have another giveaway here in probably another like a few days. Yeah. Um, but anyway, we owe you um, a giveaway from the 2,800 mark. So the only reason I have Corey here on the video with me is for the giveaway. Just kidding. Also, just because. Just kidding. I'm okay. nice. Yeah, because she's nice. So anyway, she pulled up uh, the video, and she has the random comment generator here. She's going to hit the button, and then she's going to pull out the winner. But while the random comment generator is doing its job, finding the winner, I'll just say, whoever you are, the winner, just send me a quick email, blindtobillionaire at gmail.com, when we tell you who you are, and we'll send you out some Christmas cash. Christmas cash or Hanukkah cash. Hanna or yeah, Hanukkah cash. Winter cash or whatever, whatever you, you want to call it. Yeah, we'll just send it out to you. The winner is Shelby Williams. Do Shelby Williams from the UK. The UK. Just kidding. Just kidding. She's not. <laughs> just kidding, oh. Shelby. I know where you are. She doesn't want me to announce where she's from. Oh, so I'll geez, just be. Man. What? We don't know where she's from, Mom. She's from the... No, I know where she's from. Okay. We just want to be nice and respectful. Oh. Is what that mean? I don't know. Oh. Can we edit this part out? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Shelby's Apple laughing sauce. right now. Yeah. Anyway, I didn't know I didn't know what we were supposed to say. Oh. No. I was just kidding. But anyway, anyway yeah, Shelby, Shelby, wherever you're from, you could even be on the moon. She's from the U.S. Oh, okay. She could be on the moon. She could be. She could be at the, the space center. She could live on a submarine. Yeah. Do they get Wi-Fi down there? Yep. <laughs> I bet they do. I bet they do, too. Yeah. All right. So anyway, Shelby this is Williams. our video. Yeah, Shelby. Sorry. We didn't mean to make you feel bad, but I thought it'd be kind of funny. Apparently not. <laughs> In trouble again. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, our videos always get way too long when Corey's involved. We need to give her the axe. No. Also, we don't. Also what? Nothing. We just don't. Okay. All right. Anyway, so those are the three apps that I want to discuss be today. Huge trouble now. <laughs> We're gonna have to do some editing here. So um, oh. yeah, this is awkward. Okay. Anyway, see ya. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, guys, for being here. No, really, seriously, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. We're hoping that you have a really nice holiday. I mean, there's so many holidays going on right now. New Year's is the next one. Um, yeah, it's really cool, really exciting. But anyway, yeah, we should be rolling over to like 2,900 here very soon. So 
pay attention. We'll have another giveaway, I don't know, probably and in the next few days. Comment on the iPhone giveaway video because that is the video we are taking that's the comments where, from. That's where we're currently pulling comments from as far as where we're pulling the winners from. But once mm -hmm. we roll over to the new year, we're going to start pulling from um, the we'll have previous a videos. System. Yeah, we'll have a different yeah. system. We'll, we'll be doing weekly giveaways then. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Anyway. Thank you guys so Thanks so, so much. much for watching. Any comments or questions, leave those down below. If you want specific uh, demonstration and reviews on any of the apps that I've talked about or other apps that you really like and you want me to talk about, leave a comment down below and recommend it and I will download it if I don't already have it and I'll do a demonstration and review video on that app at some point um, if you recommend it. Doesn't matter, free or paid. If it's paid, I'll just buy it and then we'll learn it and do it. Buy review. it and try it. Yeah, because I want to do as much as I can to provide valuable information for all of you. I mean, that's been my commitment since day one. So mm -hmm. I'm going to continue to do that. So yeah, anyway. Yeah, last that's great. Thought. That's it. Yeah. I think I think I've so thought much, enough out loud. Yeah. Thank you guys. Have an bye. awesome day and yeah, okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs>